And today's lesson is how to get started on the right track. Basically, how to track your results. You know, tracking your results is so critical because this is what we call building accountability into your program. Virtually anything that you want to do, whether it's finances or physical fitness, you need to be accountable. And to be, be accountable, you do that by tracking. Now, there's a lot of tools of the trade, and of course, depending on what you're trying to achieve in your course, that's going to determine some of the tests that you're going to do. Near the end of the course, when we get into optimization, we're going to show you a whole barrage of kind of like the state-of-the-art stuff. But to get started, it's really simple. First and foremost, everyone should start with a medical report from your doctor or ND. Make sure that you're physically vital enough that you can engage in this program. The doctor will run a series of tests. You can also go to a fitness uh, studio and take one of the, most of them will offer one of these, you know, physical tests. They'll test your flexibility, your muscle tone, strength, things like body fat percentage and sometimes your blood pressure. It's always good to test those things. Body fat percentage can also, I kept a little trick here in my pocket. I carry one of these with me everywhere I go. It's a little set of fat calipers. And this just keeps me honest. It's not 100% accurate, but it keeps you an idea. You just do a little pinch here on the hips and you can test that. Now, when you first start out, if you're really obese, this isn't the best tool. You'll probably want to go to like a DEXA scan or, cal or instead of the calipers. But for most people, this is a great tool just to get you started. Another thing that you can do is to get started, and I love this one too, is taking measurements. Oftentimes, especially when you get started, you can just get one of these tape measures. By the way, the calipers are only a few bucks. These are a couple bucks. You know, measuring your body parts is super powerful. Let me just toss that away over there. What it does, it allows you to start to see the results from the exercises that you're doing or the program that you're doing. Sometimes just doing a cleanse can make big difference inside your waistline. It can shift your body parts. Or if you get inflammation out of the body and edema out of the body, some people are suffering from those things. Following this program, you're going to see changes in that without exercise. And of course, if you add exercise in with some of the super powered programs that we have, you're going to see an acceleration. Another thing that you want to look at is using pictures. In pictures, you want to take a picture from the front, from the side, and from the back. Those three places. By taking in those three places, you can take it, just have someone take a quick picture with you on the iPhone. Do it in a place where you have consistent lighting. It doesn't have to be perfect or staged. Keep in mind all those models and stars that you see on the cover of magazines, those are well lit and airbrushed and everything else. So when you see these pictures, a lot of people are kind of horrified, but that's okay. I mean, I remember when I first started doing this with my coach, I had to strip down in front of them in my little posing trunks and I wasn't in anywhere near the physical condition that I was for, for capturing my challenges. And I had to stand there and he took pictures and he looked at my spine and he looked at my body parts and, you know, it was very humbling. But you know what? Twelve weeks later, when I got done that process, boy, was I happy I did that because then I could see the benefits in the, revol the results and that became self-motivating. You start to actually be able to measure your progress because so many people actually forget how much they've progressed in a short period of time. I mean, I've got countless clients who had, we'll start out, we'll do a little form, and they'll forget a few weeks later about pain that they had, or they found that they were tired all the time, and now they're energized, and they just forgot about what, what happened in the past. So pain can go away quickly. Use these pictures from front, side, and back. Another thing that you want to do is you want to track, get an, an exercise journal, and most of them also have a food log as well. Now, of course, now today with the iPhone and that sort of thing, you can get things like MyFitnessPal. I love that one. MyFitnessPal is a great application that you can get and download it onto your smartphone. What it does, it allows you to track your food intake, that sort of stuff. Gives you feedback. You can pick little notes in there. And it also tracks how many steps that you take in a day. And one of your first goals is to just get these type of tracking devices. So again, to review, what you want to do is you want to go through, you want to get an okay from your doctor, get started. Get your blood pressure done. Maybe do a body fat percentage test. Do it on maybe with either calipers 
or do it with a DEXA scan at the highest level like the NFL uses where they scan you on a machine and track all your body fat and look at your bone density. It's an amazing machine. You can put that up, D-E-X-A. So that's a DEXA scan, one of the best out there. And you can use that. And then you can get MyFitnessPal, MyFitnessPal, or any other application that you like. MyFitnessPal is a great app that allows you to carry your information around with you. And what's great is that if you're keeping track of your food or your diet, that sort of thing, once you do it a few times, you can just click and point. So it's very, very quick, and it helps you keep on track. And I know, you know, when I first started out, I had to write everything in a journal, and I was very militant. And then as I got older and life got busier, what I found was that, you know, it was harder for me to keep track of, and I kind of forget about meals and that sort of thing. But then I got that my fitness pal, and boy, it brought me right back into. And that goes back to the power of accounting. Um, having that accountability in your life, making sure that you do the program. And here's another little thing for accountability that you can do is go out and tell someone that you're engaged in this whole guide to healing health and high performance, the Bio-Optimizer's Guide, the 84 Steps and Lessons of Physical Transformation. And by getting someone else engaged to do this with you, you can kind of keep back and forth that you can say, hey, I did my lesson three today, did you? And doing that with your buddy system really helps you accelerate to the next level. Training partners are great, but sometimes they're unreliable. But we both are going through this course, you and your friend, you can just refer back and forth. And you can even discuss some of the things you're doing, find out different parts in your area that works and that sort of thing. That's part of the accountability program. Don't underestimate this. One thing I learned, you know, back when I was competing, I went 10 years before I got a coach or an advisor, and I really didn't stay accountable. I mean, I made progress. But when I hired a personal coach and became accountable and had to stand there with those pictures and turn in my journals every couple of weeks and that sort of thing, I was able to produce more results in nine months than I had done in 10 years. So don't over or over or underestimate the importance of accountability and tracking. And don't, don't just get locked into what I'm sharing. Feel free to use the kind of components that you want to track that makes you happy and it makes you feel good. Remember, I'm not here to dictate what you do. I'm here to guide you and hold your hand to help you get to the promised land as fast as possible. So that's it for today. Make sure you go up, pick up one of these things, take some photos, maybe download the app, get your log, do a scan or book a, a meeting with your medical doctor if you get started because tomorrow we're going to go over some really, really powerful lessons that I think you're going to be very impressed with.